Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how I EQ'd the kick and the 808 to sound like this. Let's get straight into the video. I have the kick and the 808 sent to the mixer out. Just Mute all the sounds. Okay. So this is how it sounds like without EQing or uh, mixing. So it sounds dry. So if you haven't seen my previous video on how to side chain the kick and the 808 i'll leave a link on the top of the screen the link should appear so i side chain the kick and the 808 and i compressed it i compressed the, the 808 now what i did with the 808 was I EQ'd it, I took out the low end These are unwanted frequencies that the human ear can't really hear and I cut off I put a low pass right here to cut out some frequencies that I didn't want without uh, EQing this is how it sounds with EQing it already becomes beefier and when you're EQing don't try to manipulate the sound if you're cutting out frequencies don't try to manipulate and create a new sound you have to use a different eq for that then i used uh another eq To just cut out the frequencies in the low, low part here, and just reset that. So what I did was, oops. so that's where the the main frequencies of the kick are. So I just reduced it by negative 3 db just to allow room for the kick yeah allow room for the kick to come in so you can either do this if side chaining does not work to the fullest you can actually just cut out some frequencies and let give some space for the for the kick frequencies and now with everything's everything on okay you can even tell the difference that the sample is now clean and much beefier so you can add uh, distortion, uh, any enhancers that you want to the 808. Just make sure the 808 does not clip. And then on my kick, I added uh, an EQ. 
This is how it sounds without the processing. And with the processing. So what I did with the kick was I cut out some frequencies that I did not want to hear. So I did not want to hear that. So I just cut it out. Some of you might want to hear it, some of you might not, but that's just the frequency that, that I did not want in the kick sample. Then I cut some low end. And I drop this just to clean out some sounds that I did not want from the kick. And then I added an, another EQ. Now this EQ complements the the 808 I did the same on the on the key this is the note of the kick G 21 raised it up by 3 dB And I added uh, a limiter to the kick channel. Sorry, uh, compressor. Compressed my kick so that it gives that punch and just compresses the sound so that it does not interfere with the entire mixing. So this is without the mixing. With the mixing and EQing. So you can add uh, different types of enhancers like here I added the the talk from waves just gives it a, a better sound Yeah, so that's how I EQ'd the, the 808 and kick. And that's how you should think in the process of EQing an 808 and kick. Sometimes you wouldn't, sometimes you might not want to cut everything out. You might want to leave the, some frequencies in the low end. I just did not want them in my kick. So it depends on how the kick sounds to you. But definitely the low end, I cut it out because just interferes with the mix and I wouldn't want that to interfere with the entire, entire beat. And this is how everything sounds together. without the mixing of the kick and the 808. So you can already tell that the the beat is muddy and the, it's just a lot of low end and unwanted frequencies. But now,
thanks for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe to get notified and i'll see you in the next one thanks guys